to get this one underway. Steph Dubois alongside myself, Pete Rogers, and we will talk you through this first semi-final here at the St. Petersburg Ladies Trophy. Sabalenka win that point. Amazing. She ran when the ball cut the net there. And also produce a, another drop shot. Is that an easy shot to do? She did also well on that final ball not to lose her bearings. Type of point that just changes the momentum. Sabalenka suddenly turns it up to 11. <laughs> Wonderful. What a hold that is for Marina Sabalenka. Looked like she was going to go break down again at 15.40, but four wondrous points ensures that she wriggles out of the game to lead 4-3. Again, there's the importance of the first serve. That's a percentage still pretty low for Burks, it's at 50%. <laughs> out of this world. Although Sabalenka is challenging. If this has found the line, this is one of the shots of the tournament. It looks well in there. Wow. Found the line. This is one of the shots of the tournament. Oh, yes. And that's a fabulous backhand. And Sabalenka motors through a service game and once again a game away from taking this opening set. This time leads 6 5. Turn and big targets, so much conviction behind it. It's a good body serve. Once again, able to back it up. Well, she's not done just yet. I think Slate Perkins taking control of that tie break. Certainly, Sabalenka did take control of that return there. on Sabalenka's serve. Oh, she's stolen the point. And with it, Burton's steals the set. One of the tightest sets you will see. But it is the world number eight who squeaks it on the tiebreaker by seven games to six. On the other hand, forcing errors and not thinking clearly at the minute. Yeah, rock solid this time. Yeah. I like the fact Sabalenka went into the to the net. It's very tall and she has I believe it's the total opposite. It can go really quick. Oh, oh she's so 
quick Sabalenka. Not sure what the drop shot was all about from her. That's just too good though from the Belarusian. It's in that last point. Two big four. is her first final of 2019. It was a little nervy towards the end, but overall that was an exceptional performance from the world number eight. She picks up her first top ten win of 2019, of course, and 12 of them in 2018.